Each insole will either have an R for right or an L for left. You'll first peel off the protective film to reveal the adhesive, and the adhesive side goes face down in the shoe. So this insole is for the right foot. The insole works great for high heels. It's going to relieve a lot of pressure from the forefoot area and redistribute it more evenly across the rest of the foot. Also, if a shoe has a removable insole, then you can lift the insole up and place the sole insole shoe bubble right underneath. It's going to have a more gradual feel that way and feel really nice. Also, the placement of the insole is right in the middle area of the shoe. It's going to go about halfway between the front and the back of the shoe. You don't want it underneath the forefoot or underneath the heel and you want it to curve up the medial wall of the shoe. If somebody's having an aroma, then you're going to want to scoot it slightly forward in the shoe so that it gets right behind those metatarsal heads and it somewhat suspends those bones to offload the pressure and redistribute it more evenly across the rest of the foot. Sole insole is the only insole out there that works for sandals and flip-flops. You'll see that it will extend slightly out from the side of the shoe and that's okay. You're not going to see it when the foot's on the shoe, but it's going to feel really nice that way. If it gets dirty, just wash it off in the sink and when it dries it'll be adhesive again. It also does not leave any sticky residue on the shoe. It's very versatile and very comfortable. The sizing on the packages is just a guide, but everyone's feet are different, their arch heights are different, and their tolerance levels for arch support is different as well. So you might find that someone on the smaller end of the size range, like a size 8 women's, might prefer a size small instead of a medium, depending upon the shoe and her foot type.